Pennsylvania High School Wrestling is deep. Uh, we, we're deep. PA wrestling is tough. You know, I like to look back on old brackets and different events I wrestled in and look at all the names that are doing big things in college wrestling. It's crazy to think that we all grew up together wrestling together. Spencer Lee said it best and still says it best. Penn State was an easy choice. Iowa was the right choice. Not saying that's the case for everybody, but that's how we started to recruit. When you do the NCAA All-Americans, you know, it's an overwhelming number that are in that area. And you have to be a fool or incompetent to not go out there and look around and see what's there. 700 miles between Pennsylvania and Iowa. It's pretty much all an I-80. <laughs> you do one, one road. Depressing when you look on the GPS and it says 586 miles turn right. <laughs> we call ourselves the Pennsylvania Hawkeyes because, I mean, literally half of the lineup's from Pennsylvania. They come from uh, the same club, um, except DeSanto. He comes from his own club. I've got guys going into battle with me that I've been wrestling with for a long time. I mean, Spencer and um, Austin and Max and myself and Cameron, we've been wrestling together since we were in middle school, so um, it's, it's fun. Young Guns is the premier club in the country, the pe premier club in Pennsylvania. The thing that changed there was probably that Jody Strip Matter was an alum. His work ethic was legendary. You could see that he's gonna be a great coach someday. At Young Guns, I had kids there that had the same goals as me and they wanted to go wrestle at the highest level and achieve, like, be NCAA champions. Jody Strip Matter was, you could argue that he's one of the best Hawkeyes and we love it when Strip Matter visits. We can start going like this. Spencer Lee was wearing a, a Hawkeye sweatshirt that was Jody Strip Matters when he was, you know, in fifth grade. We would always watch videos of Tom and Terry or, you know, Jurgens or Ironside and all these guys at McElroy, all these guys that were very physical and very aggressive because that's how he wanted us to wrestle. So that kind of helped, you know, with the whole loving Iowa thing. I would duel at Penn State. I went and I was wearing Iowa stuff. I was there for Iowa, cheering for Iowa, because it was just the first team I was exposed to, and it was fun to watch them dominate. We would have these uh, scenarios where we would all be uh, wrestling in Cargo Hawkeye, and I was 12 hours away, where Penn State literally just won, has been winning national titles, and we're not even thinking about it. Funny thing is, we actually committed to Iowa. Like, nothing, that doesn't happen a lot. Jody didn't have a single guy go to the University of Iowa until uh, uh, Michael Kemmer, and he had been coaching for a long time. Caleb Young was our first commit. He was a year younger than Michael Kemmer, and Kemmer was our first guy to, to come. But Caleb Young was our first commit. He committed right away. Me and Mikey were really good friends, and I called him and I said, hey, I think I'm going to commit to Iowa, and he goes, I don't know, man. Maybe you should just like take your official visits. And I was like, all right, all right, whatever. And I called him back like 15 minutes later and told him I committed. Michael Kemmer, he was really fond of Iowa. And he had a good visit here, and then all of a sudden that visit fell apart. And I got a call from his coach, and he says, hey, we're at DEFCON 1. You know, this guy didn't have a great visit his last night there. And so I said, all right, I'm coming. He said, what do you mean you're coming? And I said, I'm coming. He said, well, when's your plane getting I'm driving, I'm leaving right now. And I sat in that kitchen with them, and it was the Kemmers against the brands. My parents like offered him food or anything, and he was like, nope, nope, I gotta get back. And he got right back in the car, drove 10 hours straight back. And I was like, that's, uh, that's some serious commitment there. Even when I got out here that first year, actually, Caleb would text me every once in a while. He'd be like, hey, like, what'd you do in practice today? Like, what's it like? How's it going? because he wanted to be out here at the same time as me. All of a sudden, we're in the game with these guys, um, and not because we're getting these guys, but because they are now mouthpieces for us. And that's what we needed. 
in uh, high school, I was undefeated. I was 144 and zero going into my final match in the state tournament. And I ended up losing to DeSanto in the state finals. I'm walking to the podium and he's like all happy and excited. And I walked up to him, I said, you should be a Hawkeye. Spencer Lee obviously played a big role into that. Um, he, he, he's the man, so that helped a lot. And obviously it's, it's Iowa, it's Iowa wrestling, man. Think about it, if Jody had never had young guns, maybe I'm not here, maybe I'm not as successful, maybe I'm not a wrestler. And we're all friends too, which is kind of even crazier. We all kind of knew each other and, and ended up bringing us up together again. You've seen us at our duels. I mean, we, we love each other. We're, we're, I mean, I call, and I call them my brothers. I don't, they're not my teammates, they're my brothers. 